August 6th today and I'm finally going to get around to this. I had been planning to do it all, all year really, late in the spring or whenever, you know, it was perfect for candle pinching. Um, so, you know, most of these, focus in there, you can see three branches. Most of these, you know, have grown at least three or more branches out of the, the terminal buds, candles, pines are still weird for me, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, it looks like there's at least five, maybe six new buds growing at the top of that one, same with some of the other ones, so I'm going to just cut out all the candles I don't want growing, bring everything back to two, and I don't think I'm going to shorten anything. I'll just do that and then, you know, see what happens. I think they might double flush this year, like, like they mostly all did last year. I'll do the same thing with the big one here. You know, there's, I think, five branches growing out of there. They're really short this year because I, you know, I repotted and did some root training on it. But I've been fertilizing it pretty heavy and I think it'll be able to handle it. There's a big old two needle red pine down here, double flushed. These needles are the second flush and it, you know, it even looks like a third flush might be coming. Can I get in there? These big needles in there, or the big buds are going to turn into short candles. Same thing pretty much happened down here and there's two more. Let's get in focus there. Same thing happened down here. And there's two more buds there. One at the top. And then lower down there's this branch. And I think some more buds growing somewhere along the trunk. There's also another big one out here. So yeah that's a very cool little tree my only you know, my only pine that's not a an eastern white pine like all of these are so anyways i'm just gonna grab them one at a time and i have them all numbered a few of them died but you know i'll do this do everything one at a time by their number might as well and here we go Okay, I'll get started with number one here, and I'll do this do this one fully on camera, the whole process. So what I plan to do with each of these, the first step is to take off some of the old needles around the junctions and things that aren't necessary, and prune off any unnecessary branches or candles. So you can see there's three in here. I need to cut one of them off. I think I'll take this one out like that. That leaves two at the top. Take some of these older needles out. need those and you know there's a little bud in that one but I don't need don't need any more branches coming out of that spot so that really opens things up in there I don't know how much how much of the needles I want to get rid of, really. I think I probably want to leave most of them. You know, I want these trees to grow. Put a little mite on there, on those little red mites. Um, yeah, I want these to grow as fast as possible. You know, um, 
There's a whole bunch of buds at the top there. It might get a second flush this year. So I'll just leave all of these needles and you know let it let it absorb as much energy as it can. It's much easier with the little tweezers. Some of this, you know, juvenile growth that came out on this one. Just the stuff closer to the trunk. So I can let some sunlight get in there and hopefully get some... I don't really need back budding down that low. But it just cleans it up. You can see the little sap bubbles coming out of this already. Very healthy trees, lots of sap running through there. Just pulling off the needles. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, that's all I'm going to do. I won't do any repotting this time of year. Some of them will get repotted again in late March early April like I did this year but I repotted basically all my pines this year and root trained them pretty heavily so I probably won't be repotting all of them again next year maybe some of them I think I'll just get rid of these needles here too that little cluster Maybe this one also. Okay, that's it. I don't want to overdo it. Okay. That's it for Eastern White Pine, number one. Bring that back to the bench and get number two out here. Okay. Number two is next. This one grew really well. There's two branches here, small ones, one here, one here, fairly strong one, kind of splitting everything off in two there, and then a strong leader. There's also one at the back here. I think the only one I need to remove I don't want to have two branches coming out of the same spot and I've got one here so I can have them alternating and I'll get rid of this one right there and pull out some of those old needles all of the ones around the junctions I can take out I don't need to leave any dormant buds there. Don't want any, you know, whorls or multiple branch branches coming out of the same spot, creating thick points on the trunk. So, yeah, just getting rid of everything I don't need. Pulling off some of the needles that are pointing more inwards than they need to be, just to you know keep keep that open. Let some light get in there. Yeah, that's enough for this one.
white pine number two. You can see all the all the buds growing up the top top branches there. Pretty cool. Alright. One final quick spin. And I'll go grab tree number three. number three just give it a little spin there's at least four branches coming out the top there these are coming out of slightly different spots on the trunk and that one even though it's kind of on the inside of a curve what's that that just sap, some sort of scale maybe. Um, up here, I think I'm just gonna do this one off camera and then I'll show the final result. I'll do that for most of these. I've got like, you know, 15 or something that I've got to do, so I'm not gonna do them all, you know, fully on camera. I'll just show the before and after for most of them. Here's the final result of this one, white pine number three. It looks much more open now. Cut off two branches there, one from down here. I think I left everything else, but got rid of a lot of needles that were cluttering things up. My screen looks really dark right now, but hopefully that's just because the phone's a little overheated does that sometimes okay that's it for number three next is number four here's the before shot trunk is fairly clean looking it's just a bit cluttered on top so I'll open that up Took quite a bit of that off, actually. Really cleared things up. You can see I took two fairly major branches off there. Candles and a whole bunch of needles I removed. I kept these two branches growing out that way. Cut off the ones that were growing out this way because I wanted, you know, this gradual movement in the trunk to go back that way so yeah that's it we'll see how that grows on to the next one number five is next this one grew a bit differently than the others it's shorter but grew a lot more side branching Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this one off camera too. And there's the finished result. I got rid of this branch, this one, another little one out of here somewhere. Cleaned out all the old needles, opened it up. And that's about it. On to the next. Number six is next, and this one looks like it'll be pretty straightforward. There's the air conditioner. Yeah, maybe I'll just do this one on camera. Bring it in close, show the process. So first thing, you can see the, the darker green, bigger needles back here are the old ones. We'll get rid of them first so I can see the structure better. This is actually a really fun and relaxing part of the process for me. 
very meditative, reflective process. So there's all the old big needles. Um, I'll get rid of these browning ones too. They're not doing much anymore. So, got a few things to choose from in there. I think what I'll do is leave, leave this small one coming out there. Keep, oops, keep the strong two at the top and get rid of this side one because there's three coming out of one spot there and I want there to just be two. Yeah, so that's that. I'll just take out a few of these needles that kind of cross into the other branches needles. it. Okay, as you can see that really opens things up and allows a lot more light to get in into the internal structure and hopefully I'll get some back budding and some second flushing out of these buds in a few weeks maybe. Last year it happened kind of late August to mid-September I think so yeah. About a month or so I'm sure we'll see a lot of second flushing hopefully I hopefully have time to this this pruning you know candle selection right I should have done it earlier in the season but oh well that's the way she goes bubs okay on to the next All right well the next one on the list is actually number nine because seven and eight, unfortunately, you didn't make it. So I've got a frilly pom pom on top with a whole bunch of branching, and a few small branches down here that were actually last year's second flush, I'm pretty sure. I'll leave all three of those and just open up the top and be right back. That's it for number nine. It looks like a whole different tree now. Really opened up on the top there. I had to cut off quite a few branches. You know, even this side branch had subdivided. So cut one off of there and two off of here. Now everything's just dividing into two. Looks much better. I think. Get some interesting tree in the future. Whatever it turns into. I also wanted to show off this moss here. It's really, really nice, soft, you know, really kind of small, fine scale, not coarse. Yeah, really nice. But I haven't been able to develop it in all my pots. Just a few of them, this being one of them. Anyways, that's it for number nine. Next is number 10. And you can see all the old needles in there that all clear out and about five or six branches coming out of that whorl. whorl so, yep. This is kind of a fairly straightforward one. Well, sometimes I move too quickly and make a mistake. I meant to keep two branches, two candles coming up, but I accidentally cut that one off. There was like six here I had to cut off and I just got a little bit too overzealous with my pruning. Oh well, that's fine. There's like four or five buds up top 
and you know I, I had left this one already so it's kind of like there's two coming out up there oh well not a big deal there's another tiny little bud that's been starting to open down here lately maybe you know kind of kind of a start of a second flush I think actually it was just like a really really weak bud from this spring that never really developed anyways that's it for number 10 Next is number 12, because 11 died quite a while back. A few of them, I think 7, 8, and 11 died pretty much, you know, within a few weeks of repotting them. So I definitely just cut off too many roots, I think. Anyway, it's not a big deal. I've got lots to work with. Again, I'll do this off camera and be right back. That's number 12 all pruned up, pampered. There's, wow, there's like five strong buds coming out of the top there. Hopefully I'll get a whole bunch of back budding on this one. Cool. is done. I'm gonna have to move my setup a little bit as well. I got the sun glaring in my face right now, reflecting in my face off the glass table. Next up I got number lucky number 13. This is a pretty small tree. Not too much I need to do. Actually, there's a bunch of small branches coming out of the same spot there, so I'll do the usual, clean it up, and be right back. That's it for this, for that one. Pretty small tree, but nice structure. Opened it up, so it should, you know should get some good growth for the rest of the season still got at least two months of growing you know good growing season left it's only early August so in two months is early October and yep plenty of time to grow okay on to the next one next up is 14 kind of similar to the last one you know, there's a interesting kind of kink in the trunk at the bottom there, so this is probably going to be a fairly small tree in the end. But for now, I'll just keep as much branching and everything as I can. Actually, I think everything is splitting off into two, more or less, so I'm not going to prune any branches. Just take out the old needles and that's about it. 14's all cleaned up now. Looking pretty good. When I get rid of the old needles, I get rid of pretty much all of the ones that have, you know, brown tips on them. Basically, all my new needles this year are perfectly healthy. Nice shade of green. Still kind of hardening off after their big flush. I repotted everything and just been fertilizing like crazy ever since. Most of them have roots growing out the bottom. This one has a little bit there, yeah. That's cool. Alright, moving on. Alright, well here's number 15, which I'm treating as one tree. It was my attempt at a you know, fused trunk bonsai. Um, I had three pines in here. Two of them are still living. One of them's died off. I pruned all their roots this year when I repotted them. I guess I pruned this one a little too too much. Um, the other ones, I don't think they've really started to fuse yet. But... 
think what I'm gonna do is just prune off the dead part. Just back to here for now. And allow these to hopefully keep fusing together. I haven't moved this tie at all. It seems like they're, you know, still their own separate trees. I still haven't decided if I'm going to just, you know, keep trying to fuse the two of them or add a third one in there. One of my other ones that has the same kind of, you know, bends in the trunk, but originally I put these three together because they were the ones that did have the similar sort of movement, but I don't know anymore. We'll see. For now, I'll just clean them up and come right back. And that's it for those. Or rather, this one, number 15. The sun's coming down again. I'm gonna have to change my setup very soon, I think. It's blinding me a little bit. There it is. That's enough for 15. Okay, this big one here is number 17, my favorite number. Um, unfortunately, number 16 died. It was a really interesting, uh, it was a smaller tree, only about this tall, but it was pretty old. It had a trunk thicker than this one, and it was kind of interesting, but unfortunately, it died off. It happens. This is my biggest and last eastern white pine. I'll just snip off this little bit of dead wood there. No other stubs I need to prune off. What I'm gonna do with this, I'm not gonna take any old needles off. I wanna, you know, keep as much green as possible so this tree can keep feeding and photosynthesizing as much energy as possible. It'd be great if it double flushed this year after I do a bit of pruning here. All I'm going to do is select candles and bring everything back down to two. In some places like here it's growing six branches, candles out of one spot. So I'll try and get some, some close-ups for each of these cuts. First I got this branch, it's one of the lower branches. There's not too much to do here. There's three small candles coming out of the same spot here. So I'm just going to take out the one that's growing this way because I already have another candle growing over there. So I'll snip that out. And there are some older needles that I could take off if I wanted to, but like I said, just want this tree to get nice and healthy this year. So that's it for this branch. Okay, here I've got the other lower branch on the opposite side of the tree. So here again, there's a situation with three smaller buds. I'll keep the two growing outwards. Keep that one. This one here. Splits into two. This one. Just into two everywhere, so that's good. That's enough for this lower branch. Up to the next set of branches now, and again, just one choice to make here. I'll take out the one that's growing upwards, leaving two kind of parallel horizontal ones coming out this way. Yep, that's it for this whole branch. one here there's not too much to do actually everything's splitting into two actually yeah everything is there's nothing to do for that one okay so that's the first two lower sets of branches done next I'll go through these ones 
There's three coming out of there. So again, I'll remove the one growing upwards. It's just one, one. Um, now there's actually three coming out back here. So I'll remove the one going up. And I don't need this small one there. Those are good. These kind of little back buds are good. I'll leave them alone for now. Um, here is a bit weird. There's three coming out of the same spot. And this one comes back at over 90 degree angle. That's like 120 degree angle almost. So I'll get rid of that. the other two which are going out at better angles and actually at the end of this one there's four candles coming out so I'll get rid of those two yeah that's it there spin the tree around check out the other side over here that's splitting into two this is three, remove the one going straight up, over here, that's three, um, I'll remove this one that's going back towards, you know, the kind of the center of the tree a bit too much. This whole branch I'll get rid of eventually, but I need it for now to gain strength. It's splitting into two, so I'll just leave it. This part over here is just one. One. This is three. Remove the one going straight up. Yep. Okay, so that's it for all the main branches. Now just the leader part. So this up here is the leader. You can see how much stronger it is than the other parts. There's one, two, three, four, five branches coming out of the top. So I need to select there. There's only two here, so I'll leave that alone. Now up top, I think I'm just gonna pick the strongest two. We'll keep the one growing straight up and actually, no, yeah, I'll just keep the strongest two. They'll kind of work their way straight up. This one was growing more straight up, which would have given it more vigor, but um, these other two here are stronger, so I'll just keep those. Get rid of that small one there. This smaller one on the other side, and that's it. So there's just two strong candles growing at the top now. Strong one and a weak one coming out the side here. And that's it for the apex. Just leave everything else as it is. Right on, okay, I've been waiting to do that for quite a long time. Um, you know, this tree had gained a lot of vigor and the candles were on track to grow really big and strong this year. But I repotted the tree and did some heavy root pruning. I'm thinking, you know, long term. So that definitely set things back a little bit. Got a little sap coming out of there, that's interesting. Don't think I actually cut anything there, did I? Maybe. Anyways, yeah, so the candles didn't really extend too much after I did the repotting, but, you know, they definitely opened up very well, all look healthy, and all the brown tips on these are from last year's needles, all of this year's look really good. Anyways, yeah, hopefully this will fill in over the rest of the summer a little bit more, double flush, and hopefully start back budding a little bit. 
that's what I'm waiting for. There is a tiny little bud here that's gonna open. You know, there's a couple small things here and there, like these two that are basically back buds that opened up this year, but otherwise, not much. I'm not gonna repot this tree for at least a couple years. It just needs to gain strength and vigor before I do anything else to it. I think in long term, very long term for this tree, I think it's going to look really cool in the, the distant future. Alright, back to the bench it goes. Okay, the last one I need to show here is my one and only two needle red pine when I moved into my house in October of 2020 my current house this was just growing in the front yard and I collected it at that time it was really tiny um, and I'm pretty sure it's just been in this pot the whole time maybe I transplanted it into this pot you know during repotting season of 2021, but I'm not sure. Anyways, it's my only two needle red pine. Pretty sure it just grew from, there's a big one kind of up that way, growing in the neighborhood. Pretty sure it just grew from a seed from that one, though I haven't found any others in the yard since then, just this one. So what I'm gonna do is, there's a tiny little bud here that's kind of on the inside of this curve, which doesn't work well. So I'm gonna remove that one and keep the one on the other side. You know, it's kind of got a little bit better of an angle movement on it. Um, otherwise, I don't think I'm gonna do any more pruning, but you can see how massive the candles, sorry, the needles have grown this year. Like, these things are you know, probably 15, close to 20 centimeters long. Definitely 15 centimeters. It's crazy. So, I might just kind of pluck out a few of these older browning, yellowing needles that the tree doesn't need anymore. And just don't look great at this point. So I don't need them either. Some of these are pretty good needles, but I'm going to remove them anyways. These needles were all shading out a lot of light. And at this point I I just want more light to get to the you know this lower branch here. And yeah. I don't know. <laughs> These needles are just way too long. I don't really want to prune them back either, cut them back shorter, because, you know, they want to be that long. Oops, that one fell out, don't know why. Yeah, those two both died off. I wonder if there's something chewing on them in there. Hopefully not. Anyways. Few of these needles are coming off. What's going on there? That's weird. Maybe I. Hmm. It's not right. Not right at all. Weird. That should not be happening just shedding needles for some reason. I'm 
Maybe I let it get too dry or something. Or maybe because these buds are growing stronger, I just didn't want, didn't want to maintain those needles. I don't know, the rest of them seem fairly strong, so I'm gonna choose not to worry about it too much and just hope for the best. that focused? I don't know, the light's kind of weird, can't tell. Anyways, I'll pop this back on the bench. That's the last of my pines, so that's the end of this video. I'll just finish it up looking at everything all together. Wow. Well, I've been waiting to do that for a while, and it did not disappoint. It was a pretty fun experience actually, I really enjoyed it. These are all the needles I cut off. Sorry, the candles. Most of the needles I plucked off are on the ground. And here, they all are together. I tell ya, before I thinned them out, it looked like this bench was just packed, overgrown, but now, you know, these pots are pretty close together and everything's still got its own light, more or less. Looks really open and nice. Yeah, I won't touch any of these until next year. I'll just let them grow. Probably won't even repot them next year. Just give them two, two years of solid growth before I do anything. Although this red pine I didn't repot this year because I didn't think it was strong enough but I think it will be next year. Anyways, that is it for this one. That was really fun, pruning up my pines, getting them nice and sorted out for the future, opening them up, cleaning up their structure. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.